Hey guys and welcome to our video. Today we're going on a mystery adventure in the Morning Peninsula. Thanks to Trent and Ebony um, for the present for Christmas. Um, we could, could have chosen between doing an adventure in Melbourne, Dalesford, basically all around Victoria. Somewhere else. Yeah. Um, so we chose Mornington Peninsula. We were going to hope that the sun was going to be out, but it looks like it's going to rain. But should be good, good fun anyway. Okay, so our first clue for the day is ready for a caffeine hit? The folks of Mornington will tell you that this charming cafe in the back streets is better than most. And once you've had one sip, we're sure it will become a common occurrence. I have no idea. <laughs> Google's gonna be our best friend today. Let us know in the comments if you have any idea what the clue is. <laughs> For anyone that hasn't been in the Mornington Peninsula before, it's about an hour and a half drive from the Melbourne CBD. For today's trip, we used a voucher that we got for a present with Mystery Adventures. Check them out. In case you don't notice, we've edited out some of the clues so we don't give away the locations in case anyone else wants to do this. All right, so we're nearly down in Mornington. Um, we had a guess off the clue uh, for a cafe, which we got wrong. Yeah. And then we got given a clue to focus on the word folk um, in the clue. And we think that we have to go to the cafe in Mornington. So we'll be there in about 10 minutes and hopefully we're in the right spot. See you soon. Got some beautiful weather. Got our coffee. We're ready for our next clue. Um, so we've got our second clue. It is, some people would say you don't make friends with salad. You don't make friends with salad. But we disagree. If you can find this premier food store in Mornington, down on Barclay Street, let us celebrate with a whoopee. We have no idea. We haven't been to Mornington before, so we're going to go for a look <laughs> and try to find a whole food store or a deli or something like that. Yeah, we think that will be more fun than just Googling all the answers. We'll see if we can find it because we've got a bit of time as well. Wish us luck. Coffee's good from this first place. Yeah. Really good. Cheers. Okay, so we're in the main street of Mornington, Barclay Street. Um, we're on to... Koi 2, um, we were wrong again with our first guess. So now we're off to the correct place to hopefully uh, pick up some lunch for the day. Okay, we just went to a very cute little store where we got some salads. We got a pasta salad and a cauliflower salad, which looks very nice. Yep, now it's time for our next clue, clue number three. All right, let's go. Do you want to read this one? Sure. Oh, cheese. They say you don't judge a book by its cover, and that's definitely the case for this industrial shed filled with an array of handmade, delicious artisan French style soft cheeses. We'll think you'll find this next stop just great. <laughs> Let's go. We're at location number three. Um, we had to Google because we're finding the clues really hard, um, but it's a little, factory um, where it looks like they sell some cheese so we're gonna go in and have a look righty Braden we're up to clue number four so we have got the insider scoop on where Stuart Little likes to drink I think we saw a sign um, cider to stuff the road. Mm -hmm. Oh, insider. Mm -hmm. uh, I get it. Insider <laughs> skip. <laughs> we 
currently at our bookstop having some cider. We are currently up to, what clue are we up to? Clue number five. So I'll just read that out. Clue five, hey adventurers, your next stop for today is to visit an old market garden where you grab some delicious goodies from your basket. Unjumble the below letters to uncover the destination. And the letters are L-O-R-T-L-E-O -E and the second word is M-F-R-A. So the second word's farm. <laughs> and I don't know the first one, so we'll have to figure that one out. Oh, so it was good. You can figure out where we are. Make sure you come. There we go. Black, black current ciders, two standard drinks. So Jess is having that one because I'm driving. Cheers. Okay, so we figured it out. We're here at stop number five. Um, it wasn't far from number four. A um, little mixture of letters. It was a, a T, an L, an L, an E, an O, a Q, a Z, and then the second word was farm. Um, so hopefully you might have figured it out too. Um, the black currant cider, amazing. Next level. Two standard drinks though, so make sure you're not the Dozo driver. Um, we are at the next clue, but it, we thought it was a farm, but it actually doesn't look like a farm, so... Um, yes, it does. It, <laughs> no, it does not. We'll, st we'll send... We'll, well, show, you we'll show you around and leave in the comments below. Do you reckon it looks like a farm? <laughs> so... Turns out it's a, like a farm market shop. I absolutely loved it. If I lived out here in Mornington, I would definitely be a regular here. It, fresh herbs, fruit, veg, definitely my type of place. I can't afford for us to live in Mornington. <laughs> Brayden, are you feeling like something sweet? I'm sweet enough as it is. <laughs> 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 just, we just finished off at number five at the uh, farm. Um, we got a little punnet of strawberries and a little herb bread. Focaccia. Pull yeah. apart sort of thing. Mediterranean um, focaccia. Yeah, there are uh, three options we could choose from. A couple of them had garlic on it um, and don't want bad breath. <laughs> Good on you, mate. <laughs> uh, so what's the next clue? Um, if you want to find where the best chocolate are hidden, make your way to one of the most picturesque estates on the peninsula, otherwise known as Red Mountain in French. Mm. Mm -hmm. That gives away the answer, doesn't it? Parlez vous français. <laughs> Finally, what Brayden's been waiting for, we're up to clue number seven. Are you ready for your next stop? Six. Seven. I missed a clue. Yep, <laughs> where are we going? Um, just like grandma's pantry, you will find everything you need here to fill your basket. From cured meats to ciabatta, head to the hill to find this gem. I love salami. <laughs> Brayden's has been waiting for some like salami and stuff. Meat. Dally meat. <laughs> I just love meat. So here we are. Although we've got to figure out where it is first. Just had a bit of chockey. Um, at, can't tell you where. But we've stocked up. Um, we've got a few presents. Yes. Mm. Yay. <laughs> so we just picked up some salami and dip. Or actually, let's have it. So we just picked up some like deli meats and some, I think it was beetroot dip. Yep. 
it's um, um, put together super cute. Um, we're on to our next clue. What so clue are we up to? Number eight. Clue number eight is known for being the highest winery on the peninsula. Your next stop is a member of the Myrtle family tree. While their name is hard to say, if you type it into Google, it'll send you on your way. Do you know what a Myrtle it. tree is? Should I? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to Google this one and we'll show you when we get there. At the winery we had a nice drop of Pinot, but we forgot to say what clue number nine was because Jess got a little bit distracted. Uh, we finally made it to our picnic destination. We're at the Sea Breeze Gardens at Arthur's Seat. Um, just going to get stuck in and then we're going to go for a little walk on the Bay View. We just finished up our picnic. We went on a really, really nice um, walk. We will show you some of the views right now. Jess is going to read us out clue number 10. As soon as you arrive, you'll be amazed at the sheer beauty of this lavender labyrinth. Set amongst two, sorry, 25 acres of the world's acclaiming gardens. It's a lavender maze. We are at the maze and lavender gardens. Um, they've got four mazes here. We're currently lost in the first one. Gonna be stuck in here forever. Yay. It out. So it's a race. Um, the aim is to find the centre apparently and then make your way out again. So Jess has gone one way and I've gone the other way. Turns out I'm just doing a lap of the outside. I never actually went in the maze. Alright, that's it. We finished our day here on our mystery adventure in Mornington Peninsula. Hope you liked the video. Um, if you want to do something like this, we'll leave a description in the comment box below and we'll see you next time. Cheers.